What's good, everyone? It's your boy, Billy the Kid, the Nino, a.k.a. BDK. So, I landed uh, a couple hours ago out here in uh, Pueblo. And we got some major things going. Uh, I'll get into more detail on that right now. But uh, right now, I just finished eating at uh, Village Inn right now. I took an Uber from the airport. And now I am walking to a a uh, bar and grill to go watch some football uh, it's like a 20 minute walk you know and most people would probably take an uber right like i thought about taking an uber but you know what i thought of it and i'm like look how beautiful this is 20 minutes it's good for your health you know what i'm saying this walk is good for your health uh it's fresh. I look all cozied up, but honestly, it's not even that, uh, it's not cold. Um, you see the beautiful sun shining. And sometimes it's easier to take the easier route, right? Like I could have easily take a, I think it was like, I mean, it's a 20 minute walk and it was a five minute drive. So probably a five, $10 Uber. But you know what? I'm making this little memory to myself. So I'm out here in Pueblo, Colorado. I'm waiting for my boy, Dan. Uh, he's gonna touch down from Denver here in about an hour or so. And we'll get into more detail on what we're doing, baby. So Pueblo, Colorado, let's get it. I'm gonna stop. A few moments later. Is dinner almost ready? <laughs> Alright guys, so it is... What is today? The 10th, right? January 10th. Who cares? Well, it kind of matters because... <laughs> I got this, don't worry about it. Just Every time I'm vlogging, you're doing something on the back and it makes me feel like a total dick. Alright, but uh, today, let them know where we're going, bro. I we're haven't going, said it on my going, little uh, vlogs. Oh, really? Yeah. We're going to Wake Up Pueblo. Wake we Up are Pueblo. In Colorado today. So, we're going to Matt Smith's uh, building with Grant Cardone. They, if you haven't watched Undercover Billionaire, go watch it so this episode makes sense to you. But um, the sh the actual podcast will probably come out when? Uh, at, the February, February. at the end of February. At the end of February, early March. Uh, and we'll, I'll probably throw this vlog out there once that happens. But uh, Matt Smith from Wake Up Pueblo. Let's get it, baby. You missed a spot right here. You missed a spot right here. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Careful. I deserve that. <laughs> I got it on camera too. Yes, we're me and Chavez and our uh, graphic designer. <laughs> Thanks. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's good. <laughs> I just saw something running to me. Works out though for production. Yeah, huh? Disney himself! Welcome to the team, baby! Tell us about you! Uh, for anyone that I didn't meet last week, uh, day one day with news. Uh, sleep coach, I believe is what I, my technical job title is. Um, I worked at Disney for four years, as he said, Mr. Disney himself. Um, did a lot of stuff there, started in attractions, worked on Dumbo and the smallest roller coaster that the world has ever known. Uh, the Barnstormer featuring Goofy is the great Goofini. Uh, very small, 48 seconds. Great, great. <laughs> Moved into recreation, was a coordinator at the All-Star Resorts for a little while, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, 
a lot of crazy stuff happens in recreation with lifeguards and everything else. People like to, you know, have incidents when there's people around to help them deal with them. So it's a great time. Um, <laughs> you were a first responder. Right? Yeah, first responder. <laughs> Other successes! I'd like to say a huge big thank you again to Matt and Jenny and Lewis and the kids and taking me up to um, Mount Princeton over the weekend. It was purely magical. It was amazing. And uh, yeah, just loved it. Loved that. Been in the hot springs. <laughs> and um, also, I met a, a long time online friend up there who lives in Denver, so we managed to connect. And hopefully, she's coming to the UBB. You saw two tickets, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Always been selling. Always been selling. And the mattress all that, something. And the mattress. Yeah, she was on fire. But yes, yeah. Thursday is Christine's last day as well, so. We can't thank you enough for all you did. We're gonna miss you around here, but uh, there's no doubt this isn't goodbye. I'm gonna be but it was fun. It was a great weekend. Yeah. Yeah. George, here we go. We got success. Let's go. I got an opportunity to go to the Bronco game with the Tampa Bay crew. So that was super, super awesome. That wasn't a success. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Raiders fan. <laughs> And my second success was to Chavez and to Matt for all new experiences in North Carolina. We just grew our bond ship just a little bit closer. So, um, no need to, no need to share. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate it. <laughs> You ready, bro? I'm ready. Let's do this. I, uh, when I, I got a full-time career selling mattresses. So I worked for a mattress company for 18 years. You know, that was my history from 19 years old to about four years ago. I, I worked in a mattress business. And um, while I was doing that, I was, I was, you know, the king of side hustles. Like, I would truly hustle on the side. So when I was 25 years old, I opened uh, Snap Fitness. And then at 26, I opened um, the party bus business. And at 27, I opened a carpet cleaning business. You know, and this entire time, I'm investing in real estate too. I bought my first residential property at 19 years old as well. And I was just trying to figure, okay, rentals, rentals. And then when 2007-ish happened, 2008, it was like crash. But I'd made some money. So I wanted to, I wanted to work, have my money work for me instead of me work for my money. And, but it's still, the whole time I'm doing this, I, I had a career and I had a career that I loved. I was, I was a manager of a mattress company promoting people, hiring people. Yeah, 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 what's up, what's up? We're here with Matt Smith. What's up? Stay tuned, big things here. Man, the, we just finished the podcast. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. Man, it was amazing, thank you. These guys are amazing. <laughs> Follow these guys, they're doing some special things, but uh, wake up, snooze. A lot, of, a lot of exciting things, and you're gonna get a little nitty gritty what really happened on Undercover Billionaire with Grant Cardone in this uh, interview yes, we just did. Yes, sir, started. so check it out. Thank you. Um, you good? Thanks. Thank you. So what is this? This is slopper. <laughs> this is <she> slopper. <laughs> slopper topper. <laughs> the slop. The sloppier the better. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> of you guys. <laughs> All right, so we just had lunch, coffee, and now we're at the Riverwalk in Pueblo. Just checking it out. It's pretty, it's pretty. They're not open over there, huh, with the ducks? guys so i am heading out of colorado uh i'm here in denver now uh dan and stephanie just got on the airplane um i want to send a shout out to matt smith and the whole wake up uh pueblo staff it was amazing great experience um and i'm looking forward to 
the podcast. I don't know when I'll throw this vlog out there. It might be before or after the, the actual podcast episode. But either way, go check it out or wait until it comes out. So, yeah, shout out to Wake Up Pueblo, man. And let's get it. Subscribe. Drop me some comments. What's good, everybody? I just wanted to send a quick message out. Make sure you guys don't forget to grab my book, The Power of Being Uncomfortable, available on Amazon, Target, Barnes & Nobles, etc. Or you could go to BillyTheKid.com and grab an autographed copy. Also, the audio version is available. The audio book is out now, too. So check it out, baby, and let's get it.